hello friends we are continuing with the fairy queen book 1 canto 1 we have finished 48 paragraphs and we have seen till now that the, uh, that the red cross knight is sleeping in the hermitage of archimago archimago has created a brought a dream he has created a, from a spirit he has created the false una they both have worked on the imagination of the red cross knight while the red cross knight is sleeping and filled him with lustful th- thoughts the red cross knight while uh, sleeping is d- dreamt of immoral thoughts he is filled with immor- immoral feelings right now let's start with the 49th stanza in this great passion of unwanted lust the sense has been completely filled with unwanted lust or why is it called unwanted because this is very unusual to the red cross knight he is not accustomed to this lustful activities he being a holy knight or wanted fear of doing odd amiss or he was while sleeping he was afraid that he is going to do something which he ought not to do which he should not do because of this lustful feeling some secret ill or hidden foe of his now he was in a condition of half sleep and half awake he in his sleep also he was uh, he was aware that something wrong was going on some secret ill was going or or hidden foe of his or there may there may be some hidden foe hidden enemy of his who must who must be acting on him so with this thought of his in his mind he woke up suddenly lo there before his face his lady is and what does he see when he uh, wakes up that in front of him the, his lady is his lady means that he thinks to be true una sitting next to him under black stole hiding her baited hook and this una who in fact is a false una is wearing a black cloak over her or black garment or black robe over her and uh, behind her this cloak she is hiding baited hook that means her deceitful face she is hiding because her fundamental quality is that of she being very cunning or she being completely deceitful and a half blushing offered him to kiss and because she she has been tutored by archimago to entice the red cross knight to lure the red cross knight therefore she produces a faint an artificial blush on his cheek and that cheek she offers to the red cross knight in order that he must kiss kiss it with gentle blandishment and lovely look blandishment means she she is flattering or she she is persuading gently persuading uh, the red cross knight with her lovely looks also and with her activities also that she uh, that he should kiss her that means she is acting completely as a whore most like that virgin true which for her knight him took and her looks are completely like the true uh, true una the virgin true she is referred as virgin true which for her knight him took and the knight uh, took her to be the true una and therefore he was, he was completely shocked as to how she is behaving in a very prostitute like fashion she is behaving so is now starting the next stanza 50th stanza all clean dismayed to see so uncouth sight all clean means he was completely the red cross uh, knight was completely dismayed dismayed means he was distressed caught by something unexpected and this was completely unexpected to the red cross knight that una whom he considers to be a chaste woman is behaving in a such a lustful fashion so this was an uncouth sight or unpleasant unpleasant sight or a strange sight to him and half enraged at her shameless guise guise means appearance or her behavior so he was obviously enraged he was angry at the behavior of una he thought have slain her in his face despite despite means anger he thought him slain and he he would have at the first thought that he that came to the mind of uh, the red cross knight was to slain to to kill una for this misbehavior of her, of her but hasty he tempering with sufferance white why sufferance means toleration or patience so on the one hand he he had this uh, anger in him hasty he means he had this anger but that was tempered by or that was uh, diluted by the 
quality of toler toleration or patience that he had in him. He stayed his hand and began himself advice to prove his sense and tempt her faint truth. So he stayed his hand but it means that he did not strike Una and began himself advice and he started talking to himself. He started advising himself to prove his sense, to test his own wisdom. This is a good opportunity to test his own wisdom and tempt her feign truth and to test the truth of this lady who is Una. Now he considered this lady to be Una, the real Una. We know that she is uh, uh, feigning to be Una. Feigning means to be, uh, she is in fact is a false Una. Wringing her hands in woman's piteous vice. Now once this strategy of enticing the Red Cross Knight has not worked, she Una changes her strategy and now she appeals to the quality of pity of the Red Cross Knight. One of the qualities of a chivalrous person, uh, the Red Cross Knight, is that he is going to show pity to the poor people, uh, to the helpless people. Wringing her hands in women's piteous vice. Now she is pressing her hand as if she is in, in a very poor, poor condition. Women's piteous vice means a woman trying to arouse pity in other people. So this is the habit of, in fact, every woman to press their hands whenever they are in a, a bad situation. Though can she weep? To stir up gentle Ruth. Ruth meant compassion. She started crying also, pressing her hand also, started crying also, in order to still, in order to cultivate the quality of pity in the mind of the Red Cross Knight. Since the quality of lust has not cultivated, and on the contrary, the Red Cross Knight has become angry. So, in order to temper or lower his anger, she is now deploying the quality of pity in the Red Cross Knight by showing herself to be a helpless lady both for her noble blood and for her tender youth. So she being not only being a poor woman, a weak woman, a helpless woman, but she is also of the royal blood as well and she is also young also and therefore the Red Cross Knight should show pity to her instead of being angry.